What's up guys, Brian here. Um, you know, I was just thinking, with all the people in the UFC, no one ever tests positive for coke. And you got all these fucking dudes partying it up. No one tests positive for meth, MDMA, steroids. Like Conor McGregor's never tested positive for coke. The guy's punching old people in the fucking head. He's stomping on phones. He's jumping in the fucking octagon. This dude's on fucking cocaine. Hello? Even Dana, who's a coke head, said, Nigga, stop doing coke. That shit ain't from whiskey. That's from whiskey and coke. And I don't mean Coca-Cola. So, I was just looking at a picture of Rob Gronkowski. Built like a Greek god. Nobody in the NFL tests positive for steroids. And I don't even think they test for um, human growth hormone. You don't see anybody in baseball testing positive for steroids anymore either. And it ain't like they stopped fucking doing them. And listen, I'm not against people using fucking steroids, okay? I am kind of for the UFC. I think it's fucked up if you're punching people, you know. But it just seems like, like it's a joke. It's a fucking joke. Cowboy Cerrone fought five times at his age. I'm 41. I use testosterone, I use nandrolone, I've used Anavar. There's no fucking way, even with that, that I'm gonna fight four fucking times in a year. You know what I mean? And not be fucked up. So, I'm just saying, like, the USADA thing, it's a fucking joke.